Hey guys, I'm doing my film review on An Inconvenient Truth by Davis Guggenheim. Um, it's, a, it's a film that won two Academy Awards in 2006, and it's pretty much, um, you know, it's got some um, documentary elements and specific things, but a lot of it just kind of follows Al Gore's presentation on global warming and climate change, and um, you can see why, you know, it's, it made over $20 million in the United States because this topic is really important, and I think that's the key to it. There's um, you know, it's it's pretty much just that, but there are some parts where it, you know, it pans away and it and it and it shows Al Gore's childhood and growing up and his mission going around the world trying to trying to save the world from climate change. Um, but it's definitely yeah, one sided. I mean it's certainly um as Davis Guggenheim is a is a Democrat and you can tell that this movie's, you know, very liberal based as as he's Al Gore is the subject. Uh, just like I'm, uh, I mean, Waiting for Superman is another one of his movies, which is um, very liberal, and he's even been in the White House with some kids and to talk to President Obama about it. Um, it had some really good visuals too. I mean, it's during the slideshow, but but the you know the the filmmaker did a good job zooming in on the visuals and really showing them uh, things like pictures of glaciers disappearing that that were there 50 years ago that are not. I thought that was really good. Um, of course, it's a really realistic film as he doesn't, there's no narration or anything from the filmmaker. It's just Al Gore talking pretty much the whole time. Um, and I think in a way, though, you can say the roots of a film like this can be based in like the propaganda, political propaganda films of the 1940s or 50s. I mean, they have, they're often based around political figures and issues that are important to that country at that time. And so, although I agree with the topic in An Inconvenient Truth, I just think that there could be an origin there. And I thought it was really interesting that the the book discusses that Gore's fame, McLean discusses that McCore's, McLean's fame really could have helped this film for success, as because I mean that and the use of an urgent social problem, which is similar to his film uh, Waiting for Superman, but uh, Al, Al Gore's sort of celebrity status really helps the film. It gets people to pay attention to something when maybe they wouldn't have. Um, another thing just from watching the film, some of the things I noticed a lot, there was a lot of zooming in and out with the camera panning in and out. And I think they did a really good job with that, of course, to help you capture when Gore was speaking or when an important visual needed to be seen. Um, I also thought the aerial um, photos of the ice shelves disappearing was really good. It shows you from space how the ice shelves are changing, and it's really convincing. This documentary, I mean, you can see why it's award-winning. I mean, I really enjoyed watching it. I got into it, and... It really does make you see the importance of global warming, and I think that the, it goes beyond just being a film, you know, for entertainment, as some some are. This is very important for our world, and uh, overall, yeah, just I thought it was really good. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. So, see you later.